I spent the whole month of January in Bangkok. And then on January 30th, I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning and my plane was supposed to leave at 8.20. And uh, I missed my flight. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the five big lessons I learned missing my flight. Stick around, because at the end of the video, I'll share with you the number one thing I picked up. It is Jay, Creator Nomad Jay. Great to be here with you. I'm going to be doing uh, this video once a week, share some little life lessons I've learned uh, out there making things happen. So, uh, like I said, I was in Bangkok and uh, I was out till 2 30 in the morning, drinking a lot of tequila with a friend, and I uh, went to bed and I thought I was going to wake up in an hour at four and have plenty of time to get to the airport. I slept in, missed it, uh, woke up at 7, got out of my condo, packed everything by 7.20, hit traffic, got to the airport by 8, and the guy said, nope, there's no way you're going to make this flight. So that's what happened. This is the first time I've missed a flight in all my you know, 35 countries of travel. Uh, I've never missed a flight. So this, along with like a tax audit, was something I really resisted ever uh, experiencing in this lifetime. But let's talk about what good came out of it. Number one, I remembered to breathe. So when life gets hard, <laughs> I remember to take a good deep breath. Do that a few times and everything just seems to get much more grounded, right? You can also just kind of rub your feet on the ground and imagine like roots going down through the through your feet into the ground just get yourself grounded right something kind of traumatic has happened and those two techniques can really kind of help to get you grounded and feel like okay i'm still in control and what are we going to do number two when something like this happens you got to just accept it i was angry i was freaking pissed off for about an hour that poor woman who had to reschedule my flight and tell me that I had to pay $300, I was an asshole. I was not a nice guy to her. I got angry. I did not accept it. Um, so the lesson, though, is to accept it because she is probably a beautiful person. She told me she saved me about $300. It could have been $600, and uh, that was really wonderful of her. And I bet if I was nice, she might have even been a little more generous. So lesson number two, when something big happens, uh, that you weren't expecting that's not necessarily good, um, accept it because it has happened. Number three, look for the opportunity. So in my case, the opportunity was that I got really clear about some things. So when bad things happen, what we call bad things, things that are unexpected, um, usually that's the time when I, I do feel the most grounded, I do feel the most clear, I do feel the most, I don't have anything to lose because I just lost something. And out of that comes a real um, clarity and um, kind of a no bullshit about life. And I find in that, in that space, I have, I have some, some good ideas. And out of that, I did have some really good ideas, which I've been able to act upon uh, once I got back. Number four, I, I realized again that it's never as bad as you think. I learned this when I had my tax audit many years ago, and uh, I learned it here, that missing a flight is not the end of the world. In the end, it cost me $300 and uh, six hours. I was only delayed six hours from when I was supposed to land in San Francisco, and it cost me about $330. So not terrible, big deal, right? In, in the big scheme of things, so what? Um, so another life lesson, bad things usually are not as bad as you think. And you can apply that into your business, things you're scared about doing, Usually when you step over that line and do it, it's like, oh, not so bad. Actually, pretty great. And number five, and by definitely, definitely the most important, is that I've had the experience. So when you have these fears, these lingering fears, and they just live out there as fears, they're kind of debilitating. Once you've stepped across that, the flinch of fear, you've leaned into it, you've experienced that bad thing that you've feared, it's like, oh, okay, I've had that experience. I've had the divorce, I've had the dad die, I've had the missed airplane, you know? I, I, I have things happen in my life and I've gone through that. And out of that, you kind of keep developing that inner strength, that inner knowledge, that inner wisdom, um, 
of somebody who's lived a little bit and experienced some, some bad things. Those bad things, of all the amazing people I know, they've had quite a history of some traumatic, terrible things that have happened, but those are the things that have molded them and molded me into the person that I am and molded you into the person you are. So have the experience. Step into the fear. I guess that's the biggest lesson. All right, everybody, this is Jay Crater. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, absolutely subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I am going to be doing this once a week, and I uh, don't know what I'll be talking about next week, but come next week uh, on Wednesday, <laughs> and the next video will be here. All right, y'all go ahead and have a great day. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it very much. Bye for now. Be safe out there.